say that uh, Arthur Cecis has adapted to the Yamaha very, very well, and uh, he's looking pretty competitive out there. He's been in our championship for a couple of years now. <laughs> Arthur Cecis doing a good job here to hang on to the back of Jack Miller. There was less than 0.05 of a second between their lap times on the last lap. They are matching each other's pace. It looks like Arthur Cecis now is right on the back of uh, Jack Miller. Three tenths of a second faster on the last lap was Arthur. He's starting to close in uh, on his old teammate. You can just see there the Unitech Racing Remo Contractors uh, rider Arthur Cecis getting every bit of drive he can out in the straight. He's also small. Yeah, 298 for Arthur as well, but on that last lap, Arthur was actually two tenths of a second faster than Jack. He's clawing back that little bit of distance. He was a couple of tenths of a second behind. Now he's right onto the back of Jack Miller's machine. Unfortunately, there's a red flag. Uh, let's hope that Evans are right. You can see him moving around there. He's trying to pull his helmet off, uh, so that's a good thing. Well, they're having a good battle, those two. The, uh, well, the former MotoGP team, or the Moto3 riders, Arthur Cece's and uh, Jack Miller. Johnson, Spiteri and Davis round out your field. So ready to go racing up. What's that Superbike for the final time? Superbikes are go. Jack Miller struggled to get the bike off the line again and that meant that Daniel Fels got a pretty good launch off the line in position number three as they make their way down towards turn one for the first time. It is Wayne Maxwell that will lead them into turn one with Jack Miller fighting his way through the field. He's gone back. Oh no, that's Arthur Cece has gone down. Arthur Cece's and somebody else, not quite sure who that is. That is. Uh, is that Josh Hook, Hook, maybe?